Okay, today we're going to work on lesson 1.9. Uh, multiplication and division. How can you use the strategy of solve a simpler problem to help you solve a division problem? Well, that's what we're going to learn today. Our problem is Mark works at an animal shelter to feed nine dogs. Mark empties eight. 18 ounce cans of dog food into a large bowl. Okay, so he's feeding nine dogs. He empties 18, eight 18 ounce cans of food into a large bowl. If he divides the food equally among the dogs, how many ounces of food will each dog get? Okay, this is in your little box. It says, uh, what do I need to find? First of all, we have to answer that. What do we need to find? Okay, the last sentence of our problem was how many ounces of food will each dog get? So that's what you need to find. What information do I need to use? I need to use the number of puppies. Cans. The number of ounces in each can and the number of dogs that need fed. Okay? They already have dogs in yours, so you should write in cans and ounces. How will I use the information? I can blank to find the total number of ounces. What are we going to do to find the total number of ounces if we have eight cans and they each have 18 ounces? What are we going to do? Multiply. multiply. I can multiply to find the total number of ounces and I can use a simpler problem to that total by nine. Why are we dividing by nine? There's that many dogs. Okay, all right, so remember that our problem is that he has all that dog food. Okay, so it says first multiply to find the total number of ounces in the dog food. What is 8 times 18? Let's use our distributive property, let's think a little bit. What eight? What is 8? Eight? 8 times 10 plus 8 times 8. What is 8 times 10? 80. And what is 8 times 8? So maybe that's a little easier to add. A 4 and then 6 plus 8 is 144 ounces. So 144, how many dogs were there? 9. So we're going to divide by 9. To find the quotient, I break 144 into two simpler numbers, which we did 80 and 64. And they're doing 90 and what? What's 144 minus 90? 54. So 90 divided by 9 and 54 divided by 9. What is 90 divided by 9? 10 and 54 divided by 6 or 9 I'm sorry 6 so 10 plus 6 is so each dog will get ounces of food okay here is another problem <coughs> Michelle is building shelves for her room. She has a plank that's 137 inches long that she wants to cut into seven shelves of equal length. The plank has jagged ends, so she will start by cutting two inches off each end. How long will the shelf, will that shelf be? So if she cuts two inches off, what does it say? Two inches off each end. It's at 137. How many inches is she going to cut off at first? Two. 
two off of here, and two up of here. So 137 minus 137 minus 4 equals 133. So that's how long our board is going to be. Okay, what do I need to find? How many shelves is she going to make? You remember? She's going to make seven shelves. Seven shelves. So you need to find the length of each of the seven equal sized shelves. And I'll put that up in a typed box. So I need to find the length of each of the seven equal sized shelves. So I need to know the amount of wood to cut off each end, which was how much off each end? Two inches, right? The number of shelves, which was? And what was the wood to begin with? Okay, so how will I use this information? All right, so I will first subtract two inches from each end of the plank to see what length is being divided. Then, oops, that should be capital. I will divide the length of the remaining piece by seven. If that length is not easy to divide, I will break it into two numbers and divide each of them by seven. Then I will add the two partial quotient. Okay. So here we go, we're going to do our partial quotient work. So I had 137. I cut two inches off each end, which left me 133. And I know that I need to divide 133 by how, what? How many equal shelves are there, Logan? How many? Well, look at your page. How many equal shelves are we supposed to be making? Seven. Okay. Is 133 easily divisible by 7? What if I took 70 away from that? So I had 70 plus what makes 133? 63. 63. Are those both easily divisible by 7? Yeah. Yes. So 70 divided by 7 plus... 63 divided by 7. There we are using our distributive property again. How many 7s in 70? 10. And how many 70s in 63? And 10 plus 9 is 19. So how long are our shelves going to be? 19 inches long. 